So, I just got this beautiful red box in the mail today, and I'm very excited to open it up. But anyways, hello all you beautiful people. Welcome to this month's Geek Fuel unboxing video. We're just gonna jump right into it this month. I've already got the uh, tape cut open, so we're good there. Here we go, guys. Anyways, so up first in this month's Geek Fuel, we have the Geek Fuel magazine, issue number 7, August 2015, Life Advice Superhero, superhero Style. Nerd Barrage Talks. I wonder what that's about. Get salty at SLC uh, Comic Con. Geek out your house with this month's gift guide. And more. And here's the back. Ooh, that's a nice little illustration. What is that? Oh, that's Fallout 4, right? I'm pretty sure that's Fallout in general. Anyways, it comes with this nifty little issue. Up next, we have, we're, I was originally going to dive into this, but we're going into this one first. I noticed the Wolverine, we're immediately going into this. The World According to Wolverine, written by Matthew Manning, illustrations by Stephen Mooney. And here is the back. Stoic, headstrong, and always spoiling for a fight. Wolverine is not known for opening his heart to others in the world, according to Wolverine. However, the virtually indestructible mutant shares his thoughts on the superhero life for the very first time, offering hard-learned advice to those who would follow in his footsteps. Covering topics such as harnessing mutant powers, taming your animal instincts, and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with cosmic bad guys, this book is essential for essential reading for anybody who wants to enjoy a long career in the most dangerous profession on Earth. It's packed with removable special features. Examples. We need an example of one. Hold on. Time out, guys. Time out. So, I just like flip through the pages and immediately what they mean by removable special features, like for an example, this right here is removable i'm not actually going to remove it it's like a postcard kind of or like a you know postcard size and it's a picture of somebody i have no idea who that is actually but this i'm definitely reading as soon as we finish this unboxing this is like a god tier book hold on let me show you guys another example so here's another thing right here the canadian central railroad passenger mr logan destination what's that say I have no clue. Is like, Where is that? No idea. Anyways, sick, sick. So, it comes with the world according to Wolverine. Like I said, I'm very eager to dive into this book. And it and look, it even gives you like a cardboard thing 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 to protect your uh the protect the pages or whatever, man. So good. So good. Anyways, up next we have now we're going to jump into this. We I can't even read this font. Eris Awakening downloadable game code and teleportation charge caution flammable wait let's see what's actually inside of here oh it's like those little little things you throw on the ground and it just pops right it just crackles whatever it's like pop 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 one of those thing 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 things okay okay so it comes with this and let me show you guys the back cover up the game code I mean, that's not really a teleportation charge, right? It's just a little itty bitty firecracker thing, 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 thing. <laughs> ah, pretty good, pretty good. But it comes with this. Up next, we have the post apocalyptic currency magnet. Start your own nuclear holocaust fund. Oh, wait, is this it? Ah, I'm guessing it was attached like this and it just fell off. I'm assuming, yeah. Clearly, Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola, there's the uh, direct correlation. Fallout related, correct. Pretty nifty. And here's the back. Post-apocalyptic currency, after the fallout of the Great War, you learn the value of the simple objects you once took for granted. Now held in higher esteem than the liquids they kept in place, these bottle caps have become your ticket to living another day in the dark open. Uh, it, blah, blah, blah. Take it to living another day in the dark, open, post-apocalyptic world. Wallach. So, uh, I already dropped it. Time out. And we are back. So, it comes with this. The only complaint I have about this, right, if you look on the back, you see where they glued the magnet onto the actual bottle cap. It is very poorly glued. Like, look at all that excess right there. I mean, it's a very minor complaint, considering once you stick it on, you're only going to see this, right? But, yeah, it's one of, the, it's one of those little little things you know but it comes with this magnet 
Up next we have, what is this? What is this? Adventure Time. I didn't even know Funko Pop made little pocket keychain thing things. Finn. I am not familiar with Adventure Time. But apparently, it's Cartoon Network. So it's a show. For those of you guys that seen Adventure Time, is it good? Is it one of those things I should definitely start watching? Let me know in the comments. Because, I, like I said, I am not familiar with Adventure Time. I've actually never heard of it until just now. And, I don't know, I feel like I might get bashed in the comments for never hearing about it until just now. But anyways, if it's a good show, let me know, man. I'll definitely check it out. But anyways, it comes with Finn, pocket keychain. Pretty nifty, nonetheless. And up next, actually, we'll go with this. We have, oh my god, I already know what this shirt is without even seeing it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, let's hurry up and get through this. Up next, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Sour Apple Artificially Flavored Lollipop in the shape of a Ninja Turtle. Let me get a better, oh, there it is. Can you guys see it? There it is, there it is. That's a good look. It comes with this, but who cares about that? Wait for this t-shirt, guys. Deadpool, I already know it is. Look, look, boom, oh my god, so good, so good, this shirt is so godlike, as you guys know, Deadpool, favorite character ever, in the history of everness, the only downside, or the only complaint I have about Deadpool right now, is the fact that Ryan, Re uh, Ryan Reynolds is playing him in the movie, I feel like if there was really serious, I mean, alright, I, I really can't say, right, because we haven't seen the movie yet, it's not out yet, but... I feel like if they were serious about the movie, they would have kept Deadpool in a mask, correct? And they would have just got, like, Nolan North to do the voice. For some reason, I hate Ryan Reynolds, I think he's the shittiest actor in the world, but I don't know, that's just me, right? But, I love Deadpool. I love Deadpool, okay? I just hate Ryan Reynolds. I love Deadpool, though. I love Deadpool. I love Deadpool. Anyways, it comes with this sick Deadpool shirt. It's like in a grunge style too, right? Which makes it even sicker. Let me know what you guys think of this shirt in the comments. I love it. I love it. Anyways, up next we have, last but not least, the little placard promo card that tells you everything that was inside of this month's Geek Fuel. The exclusive shirt. Look at this shirt. Wait, one lucky winner will get a Mexican feast on Geek Fuel? Wait, what? Wait, what? That's right, food of the real variety and delivered from your local purveyor of fine foods or Taco Bell. Depends on where you live. If you've got the winning ticket, it's you. What? If it, what? Who got this winning ticket? If you're one of those people that are watching this unboxing and you actually got that ticket, let me know in the comments, man. So I could be all envious and jealous, you know? What? So they... Oh, they had different books. They had Spider-Man too. Oh, I want the Spider-Man one. I like Spider-Man more than I do. Whoops. I like Spider-Man more than I do Wolverine. I mean, Wolverine's more of a badass, but Peter Parker is Peter Parker, right? He he's he's just so good. He's just so good. But anyways, oh, now I wish I had both books. Oh man. Oh man. And on that note, that is going to be the end of this month's Geek Fuel unboxing video. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this month's Geek Fuel or if you guys didn't like it. Me personally, I did like it. This Wolverine book, very nifty. Very nifty. Very, very nifty. This shirt, God tier. Absolutely God tier. Favorite item, definitely the shirt. Second favorite item, definitely the book. Least favorite item, Probably the keychain since I don't really know what adventure time is, but that might all change if uh, if I get into it, you know But anyways, if you guys are interested in getting your own geek fuel every month I'll leave a link to their website under this video and as always thank you guys so much for watching If you've enjoyed this unboxing video, please give the video a thumbs up leave some comments and I will see you guys next time